if you're feeding a big flock of house sparrows at your bird feeders this winter, uh, be on the lookout for a few rarer sparrows that might be mixing in. One of those would be the white-throated sparrow. I just photographed this one yesterday here at Lake Meyer Park. This is uh, late January now, and uh, normally these white-throated sparrows are going to be spending the winter in warmer states, typically from southern Missouri down to the Gulf Coast. But uh, this hardy little uh, fellow or, or gal right here is uh, staying right here in northeast Iowa for the winter. Notice the white throat. Got a little yellow dot or patch there uh, up above the bill and in front of the eye too. But uh, again, we could see white-throated sparrows here, uh, potentially song sparrows, American tree sparrows sometimes show up at your feeders. So uh, again, just uh, check over those house sparrows and look for one that looks a little bit different this winter. And uh, hopefully you'll have a, a little happy surprise at your feeders too. With the heavy snow cover we've got on the ground now, uh, a lot of wildlife is starting to struggle a little bit to find food as we move into the latter part of winter. White-tailed deer are normally browsing animals. They like to eat twigs of uh, trees, especially uh, oak trees and, and even oak leaves. But uh, now again, as we kind of uh, move into the winter season and uh, you know they're eating whatever they can, deer will uh, browse on uh, pine needles. They especially like uh, needles of uh, uh, arborvita or white cedar, but uh, you could find them eating on uh, any any uh, of your evergreen trees out there. Uh, but uh, hopefully they can find enough waste grain out in the fields too. But uh, be on the be on the be on the watch for uh, white-tailed deer, uh, maybe around some pine trees now in uh, the winter season. These tiger beetles are pretty cool critters, and uh, you can sometimes see them skittering across the sandbar uh, along the maybe an area river uh, if you're out on a, a sunny day in the summertime. Uh, they have several kind of tiger beetles here in uh, northeast Iowa. Some tiger, well, one tiger beetle will be mostly green. This uh, hairy neck tiger beetle is mostly brown. Uh, and uh, look at the pattern on their back. That's sometimes a, a way that you can help identify what they are. But uh, they like to eat other bugs. They're very quick, uh, and they can also fly. Uh, if you're trying to catch one, I would not advise trying to catch a tiger beetle. Uh, it's uh, maybe not that difficult to actually get one in your hand, but uh, you'll probably regret it because they do have a nasty bite. But uh, so they're kind of one of those little uh, bugs out there, uh, look and enjoy, but don't touch.